tired of paying $10 a month for GitHub's Copilot? Well, don't worry. I got something free for you in this video that works as good as GitHub's Copilot. But man, I just keep stumbling across new AI coding Copilots on the daily. We have covered LLM Copilot called Continue. We have GPT Interpreter, which is basically your own coding assistant as well as GPT Pilot, which allows you to create free softwares in minutes. It's great to see such advancements as well as evolution in the world of AI. Today, I bring forward another Copilot called Codium. It's completely free, ultra fast, and it's a Copilot alternative that auto-completes your code with AI in all major IDEs. The great part is, is that they're continuously working on improving this tech on a monthly basis and it just shows that they're continuously evolving and adapting to major updates that are revolving across the AI world. So why use Codium? Well, running LMs at scale is quite expensive and you do require a lot of different coding needs as well as coding help from different tools like Codium. But the thing is, at Codium, the usability of this tool is completely free. It forever auto-completes and it has a chatbot for AI that gives you suggestions, completes your code, as well as fixes code errors within your IDE. And this is a great part as to why you would want to use Codium. Now, throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually install Codium, taking a look at some of the cool usability features, as well as going more in depth as to what the roadmap is with this application. So with that thought guys, make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video. But with that thought, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As I mentioned at the start, we're going to take a look at Codium. Now this is the modern coding superpower as it's mentioned on its website. You're able to do so much as it's a great way for you to auto complete your code, have it integrated with different types of IDEs, it provides a dynamic code AI completion and it's basically just going to be used to help you level up your coding experience. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as you go more in depth as to what you can do in terms of using Codium, how you can install it, taking a look at the pricing. We're also going to take a look at how it compares with GitHub's Copilot, take a look at how it does compared to other different types of platforms such as Replit, you have Tab9, as well as Copilot. And that's basically the gist of today's video, so definitely stay tuned and let's get right into it. If you guys would like to access our private Discord in which you can get free subscriptions to AI tools that are very beneficial to you, Definitely take a look at this in the link in the description below. Not only do you get subscriptions, but you get a lot of giveaways, consultation for free. You get amazing different deals, giveaways, networking opportunities, and so much more. So if you're interested, take a look at the link in the description below. Make sure you follow World of AI on Twitter if you guys haven't already. I'm going to be posting the latest AI news here so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the AI world. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now, as you mentioned, it's completely free, guys. You have so many free features that are associated with this new toolkit. You have the rapid code auto completion, which lets the AI tool within Codium auto complete the code for you. You have an in editor AI chat assistant, which will basically help you provide suggestions, debug the code, as well as ask it certain types of questions that can improve the code. You have a neat repo natural language search. You have unlimited usage, which is the best part about Codium. We've taken a look at Continue, which is a free autopilot for software development. But the thing is, is that this tool only has 20 or 10 amount of different types of usages per a session which is very very unproductive for people who are going to be coding large contexts of code and this could be very restrictive for a lot of people but Codium on the other hand has unlimited usage which will be very very beneficial for a lot of people 
Now it's trained on open source data, which is really, really useful. You have support via Discord and you have end-to-end -end data encryption, which will basically provide you the privacy as well as protect your data for the best usage on your local desktop. So that is the best part about this. You have teams as well as an enterprise uh, selection for its pricing tools. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely get started by contacting them. Now let's actually evaluate Codium compared to many of the different types of copilots that are out there. Now we're going to first start off by comparing it to GitHub's Copilot. And we can see that there's many different types of evaluation metrics to compare. We have pricing, for example, at this, as a start. You're able to see that GitHub's Copilot is a monthly subscription plan, whereas Codium is completely free. In terms of functionality, with GitHub's Copilot, you have a single plus multi-line code gen, whereas Codium has a single plus multi-line code gen. But on top of that, you have an in-ID integrated chat and search option which is very, very useful for a lot of people. You have many different types of supported IDs. In this case, you have uh, Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, Visual, uh, Visual Studio, Jupyter, and so many others compared to GitHub Copilot's uh, support IDs, which are only totaled to about four. Now, in comparison to the supported languages, you have 70 total languages with uh, Codium, whereas GitHub Copilot only has a selected few. Now, this is the great thing about this uh, is it gives you a lot more customizable as well as a lot more functionality with different types of languages that are supported with Codium. In terms of security, it is more private and has a 100% encryption method within their actual toolkit. You have better latency and in terms of quality, they're basically on par. Now, this is something that you can see in the blog post. So if you're interested to get more details, I highly recommend that you check this out later on in the video or in the description below. Sorry. Now, just as we have compared it to GitHub's Copilot, we're also going to be showcasing the head on head comparison with other Copilots such as Tab9 and Replit. Now, if you go down, you can see that there's different metrics as to how they evaluate it on, such as the features and price, latency, suggestion quality. And one thing I want to note is that this was written by Codium's team. So there's obviously going to be a bias towards their own platform. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind when reading this. But you can see in most categories, Codium has the upper hand in most cases. Now, in this case, they have 27 out of 30 categories fulfilled but in most cases i would say it's basically a little bit ahead of github's copilot because of its free uh, opportunity to use the toolkit now if you want a more detailed analysis in comparison with each and every copilot you can definitely take a look at this graph and scroll down to get better understanding as to how it performs in different evaluations generation to test the copilot like latency and so much more and if you're interested in this i highly recommend that you check take a look at their blog post because it's really really detailed they also have a blog as to showcasing different types of suggestions showcasing monthly updates as well as going more in depth on what you can do with this copilot so if you're interested definitely take a look at this and it will give you more better insights as to what you can do with code generation with ai now let's get to the next step of the video in terms of installing this application now there's basically a couple of ways to actually utilize this but the first method i want to showcase is trying this out in your browser you're able to go on the playground and try codium right in your browser you're able to also install it into different types of extensions such as your different ids that are available with codium now it's very simple you can see that there's different types of languages in which you can access this demo on you can use python javascript go java and c you're able to reset it over here but this is basically a live demo in which you can start generating code with these different types of languages so if you're interested in this you can start and play around with it off the playground and if you find it to be useful you can then deploy it onto your local ide but in this case if you're going to be utilizing this for your own id what you can do is click on get extension and you'll be able to access different types of extensions over here 
you have different IDs such as Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, you have NeoVim as well as Vim, you have the Android Studio, Google Colab, DeepNote, Databricks, Chrome, and so many others. So you have a wide range of different extensions as to what Codium could be installed into. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at it. But in the case of this video, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code. Now, another thing is, is that you can go onto the GitHub repo and you can also install it manually. And you're also able to install it using different installation options such as through Lazy, Vim, as well as installing it using the manual instructions. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave this link in the description below so you can get started with that. But in this case, we're going to be doing, using it through Visual Studio Code. So you want to click on that, click on quick install, click open Visual Studio Code. This will prompt you to open up Visual Studio Code and it will take you to the actual store, extension store actually. You want to click on install over here and this will start installing Codium. And once this extension has been installed, it will then prompt you to open up and log in by creating an account with Codium on their website. So once this has fully installed, I'll take you to that step next. Now guys, once you have basically connected Codium to your IDE, you're basically able to access it on the top left in Visual Studio Code. You can see that there is a Codium tab. Now, if you have not actually connected this, you won't be able to see this and it'll say there's a bug. Now, what you can do to fix that is by providing Codium, the actual application, the authentication token, which will be provided within your account over here. And that's by clicking on the actual profile button and you'll see that you can get started by basically accessing and giving the authentication token to Visual Studio Code. And this is by basically clicking on the search bar, pressing the greater or less than symbol, typing in Codium, provide authentication token, and then you can paste that token that is provided off the website off your profile. Now, this is only if you get that bug. If you don't, and if you're able to access it fairly easy like I am over here with the welcome sign over here, then you won't need to actually do that step. But if that is the bug, and if you still need, require assistance, definitely reach out to me in the description below with my Discord, or you can ask me in my actual consultation, which is something that I really wanted to talk about. I offer free, not free, but I offer a consultation. And if you want to book on book a one-on-one -on -one consultation, you can definitely do so with this link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video and talk a little bit more about how you can use Codium. So let's actually start utilizing Codium. So what you want to do first is create a new file with whatever language that you want to work with. In this case, I'm going to be using Python. Once you have this new Python language file opened up, you want to open up the extension of Codium. Now, in this case, I already started working on with it, but you'll see a couple of presets as well as a couple of examples in which you can get started with. But what I started off with is write a function to Python function to fit a best fit line and plot it. So in this case, it generated the code for this. You can insert the code by clicking on insert code. You can do the exact same thing with the next part of the segment. And if you approve it, you can just like it. If you don't, you can just like it. But in this case, I like it because it fits best to whatever I wanted it to output. Now, you're also able to copy it so that you can export it in other workflows, which is very, very useful. Now, in this case, you're also able to find different bugs by asking it how I can improve the code. Can you please debug it? And it will then work upon giving you the best solution. In this case, how I can improve it is going to give me a good written description as to what you can do to improve the code that has been generated now if you would like to add it to a certain block that you want to focus on you can then mention the codium to a certain block in this case a couple blocks that you want to focus on so from 21 to 23 you can then put that range in and then ask it to analyze that segment so it then gives you a precise answer for that block that you want it to review. And that's basically it for using Codium. This is just a quite simple demonstration as what you can do with it. There's a lot more that you can do with it on the blog post, which I highly recommend that you check out so you can get a better idea as to what you can do with Codium. And that basically concludes today's video on Codium. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and you got some sort of value out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. But that's basically it for today's video. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord in which you can get exclusive giveaways, subscriptions, and so much more. 
make sure you follow world of ai on twitter if you guys haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you check out our youtube channel so you can stay up to date with the latest ai content make sure you guys subscribe turn off kitchen ball like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas